uh, let us uh, discuss standard second order system and how is it represented and what are the parameters involved in second order system. Consider the G of S given by omega n square by two poles in the denominator and assume that it is a unity feedback control system. Then the transfer function is given by omega n square by S square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. This is the standard second order system transfer function and uh, this can be applied to any system. It may be an electrical system, mechanical system or thermal system. So, there are two parameters that are involved in this transfer function. One is omega n, it is known as undamped natural frequency. undamped natural frequency radians per second and the second one is zeta it is known as damping ratio or damping constant. These two are the important parameters of second order system. What exactly undamped natural frequency and zeta? Their significance we will see with the help of one diagram. Now, if you see the denominator, the denominator of this transfer function is known as characteristic equation or characteristic polynomial. It is given by a second order function it is. So, it has two roots. It is known as characteristic polynomial. When you equate it to 0, it becomes characteristic equation. So, the roots of this characteristic equation S1 and S2 is minus b minus 2 zeta omega n plus r minus under root of b square 4 zeta square omega n square minus 4 a c omega n square by 2 a. So, if you just see the two roots, if you simplify this minus zeta omega n plus r minus j omega n under root 1 minus zeta square. So, this imaginary part it is actually minus zeta omega n plus r minus j omega d where omega d is equal to omega n under root of 1 minus zeta square. So, what exactly omega d here? Omega n I said it is undamped natural frequency of the system. System may have some oscillations without any damping factor that is why it is called undamped natural frequency. Whereas, omega d is known as damped because damping factor or damping ratio existing in the equation. So, it is known as damping or damped natural frequency. So, if you compare this second order system uh, with our electrical system we have already discussed in the previous sections. It is actually given by 1 by L c and by S square plus R by L into S plus 1 by L c. So, you can see that if you compare this standard second order system with our electrical system omega n is given by 1 by root L c undamped natural frequency it depends on only L and c. Now, 